Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I will show you really easy and step by step how to make this Hichol style spring seed beads earrings. Even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it with this step by step easy instructions that I'm giving. If you're new here consider subscribing. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You help me so much. I can't thank you enough. Check description for useful resources and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member, which is a course of five Peyota Stitch videos now. And without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 0 seed beads and you could use 10 0 seed beads if you want. I'm using earring findings, Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters, size 10 beading needle, scissors and the pliers are not obligatory, I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to do first is take four yellow beads, slide those down, stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I do this really easy by taking my tail thread and going twice through the loop I've made here and then I will make one more knot here. And I'm going to pull. Okay, now I have this. Then what I want to do is go through one of those yellow beads. And I take one red. Then again. And I will do this two more times until the end of this row. Okay, and I added the last one and I also went through this red bead here. What I want to do next is take three seed beads, red, black, red. And I'm going back like this, okay. Then what I want to do is reach the next red one. Going into the next red, okay, the same sequence. And I'm going to do this two more times. Now in my next step, what I want to do is go through this red one here. And I'm going to take a sequence of five beads. Okay, and I have this on my needle, my dark pink, black, light green, black and dark pink. And I'm going here in the next red one. And I pull. Okay, this is what I have. Then in my next step, I want to reach this red one and add the same sequence. I have it here on my needle, absolutely the same thing. And I'm going in this red one. And I'm going to repeat this, guys, two more times. Okay, here is what I have. Okay, 
okay and I have this now and in my next step what I want to do is reach one of the green beads and here is what I have here two light green beads three dark green beads and two light green beads and I go back in circle through this same green that I have here just like this then I will do an additional reinforcement first I will go through the first light green skip the one that's on my way like this then skip the next one that's on my way and skip the next one that's on my way so now guys when I pull after skipping those beads that I showed you this is what I have I have these beautifully formed angles here so what I do next is that I want to reach this central black bead here this one here and I'm taking three light pink beads go back in circle through this black bead then again what I want to do is reach this green bead and I take this same sequence that I had here and I'll show you one more time this thing okay I just go through the first green bead in this direction skip the next one that's on my way then skip the one after that and skip the one after that in this way I'm forming angles if they don't form you could help them a little bit but this is what we want to have here then again I go through this pink one uh, sorry through this black one to add pinks okay guys and here I am I have three more of these pink beads I go back in circle through the black one and these two steps that I showed you I will do two more times I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them if you rewind this video okay do them and meet me here okay my friends here I am with my last three beads from this row as I told you if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and you will be able to make them following the steps three black beads and I go from the center to the outside through this green one okay at the angle then I go through all of those beads exiting out of the next angle green bead take three black beads and go through the pink one that is sticking out the most three again and go through this green in this direction from the center to the outside okay and this is what I do until the end I'm showing it one more time and I'll let you do this by yourself until the end of this row and I'll meet you at this side okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row 
now I have this and in my next step what I want to do is go through these two black beads now I'm in the central of these three black beads that I added and as I take black yellow black I'm going here in this top bead I take the same sequence black yellow black and I go here in the central black one of the three that I added in my previous step okay then I take these three black yellow black and I go in the central black one okay I have this again and go here at the top green one okay this and pay attention in the center here in the central black one okay I'll show you two more times and let you do this by yourself or if you can rewind the video and repeat the steps three central one three top green okay I will continue this and meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last black yellow black and pay attention where I add them through this middle black one okay now I have this in my next step I want to go here through the black yellow black and I'm going to pick up three yellows and I go through the black and through the yellow now what I take are five yellows and as I'm exiting through one of the yellows I go through the other one okay I take five beads again go in the next yellow and after that through the black one now I'm here at the green angle and I want to add three yellow beads at the angle and I'm going through the black and through the yellow five yellows and go in the yellow so I add in two steps I add five beads here and here and at the green angle between the blacks I add three beads so I went through the yellow and through the black and I'm going to show you one more time okay do this until the end and meet me here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row I go here in this yellow now in my next row I want to go through all of those three beads the black and these two yellows okay I'm exiting here at the top take three black beads and go back in circle through this top one then go in the next yellow one black and go in the second yellow here you see the second one counting from the center okay then I go here through two more seed beads and here at this point I want to add three black beads and I'm going like this through the top yellow one back in circle then what I do is go through the next yellow one black and go through this yellow okay uh, if you are counting from the 
angle here it is one to the second yellow okay like this then i go through the following which is the central one of the five that i added in my previous step take three black beads go here through the top then go through the next two yellow beads one black and go through the next two yellows aiming for the middle one here three black beads go back like this next yellow one black go through the second one here the second yellow one two this is the second then go through the next two beads to reach the central one of the five that you added and take three guys three beads go like this and here go through the following yellow one black and go in the second yellow counting from the center okay then in the next yellow three and go through the next two okay and continue doing this until the end and meet me here if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind the video and pay attention what beats i add here at the five beats and at the three beats and repeat it and i'll meet you here at the last step okay and here i am guys where i'm adding my last black bead from this row if you forget how i'm doing it just rewind and steps are all the same and i will go here through these top three black beads just like this and now i'm going to start filling the gaps one go here here at this part where my five yellow beads start i need to go through all of those beads to reach the next the next gap between the five yellow angles here i need one and one when i finish the two five yellow angles i need to so only at the beginning of the angles of five beads i start with two and at the end i finish with two everywhere else i have one black bead this is how i'm filling the gaps so here it comes my five beads angle the yellow five beads angle so i add two then i go here through the next three beads and add here one and one and again when i go through the top three beads i am at the end of these two five yellow beads angles so i need to here 
and after that one one two one one two one one two one one two and this is how i finish this row and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last black bead from this row in the scheme one one two i did it until the end you could always rewind on just repeat the scheme that i just said and you will be fine okay see how cool it looks now what i want to do is go in this direction through all of those beads going through the angle and now i'm here one black bead away from the angle you see where i am and i'm going to pick up a red a dark pink and a light pink then i'm going to take my earring finding okay and then again a light pink a dark pink and a red okay here is what i have and i'm going to slide all of those down then what i do is go again in the one that's after the angle and through the angle when i pull i have this and i need to reinforce Okay guys, now I have this and all I need to do next is to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made then I pull and I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready I'm going through the next few beads and then I cut my thread and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my seed beads Hichol style spring earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button you will see more similar videos down there in description you will find a full list of materials link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to my membership and uh, there you will get a course of five videos with peyote stitch if you want to join it and thank you so much for watching share your beautiful designs that you did following me on my facebook and instagram pages that you will find also below this video Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.